My name is Heather Bamonte Nelson and I am a professor in the Department of Psychology and my laboratory is the Neuroscience of Memory and Aging. One of the research interests in the lab is to understand how surgical menopause can impact cognition, which can be the surgical removal of the ovaries or the uterus. The classic model in basic science research is to remove the ovaries because that is what is thought to be uh, the biggest factor in the broad effects of menopause. But a couple years ago, Heather and I were having a meeting, I think we were writing a paper, and we were discussing the uterus and how um, there's not a lot of research out there on the role of the uterus outside of uh, reproduction. So the dogma in the field is that the non-pregnant uterus is dormant and quiescent. And when learning endocrinology through graduate school, these are the types of quotes that I read in the textbooks. The uterus is a quiescent and, to a large degree, useless organ. The uterus is a quiescent and, to a large degree, useless organ. The sole function of the uterus is to accommodate and support a fetus. So, as scientists, we immediately question something that may be written that says the sole function of because I can't think of one organ or organ system in the body that has only a sole function. Evolutionarily, it does not make sense for a particular organ or organ system to work toward only one goal and to expend energy toward only one goal. So I think the most exciting finding from this work is that we've shown that the surgical removal of the uterus uh, can have a unique and negative effect on a certain type of memory called working memory compared to not only control subjects but also compared to other variations in surgical menopause which indicates that the uterus is playing a unique role in uh, cognition. We know that there is a uterus-ovary-brain connection for reproductive function. What this study has told us is that this three-way connection does more than impact reproductive function. The uterus not only communicates with the ovaries and the brain for reproductive function, but scientific research has shown that there are direct connections between the uterus and the brain through the autonomic nervous system. And so there are likely many other connections that have yet to be discovered. And we hope that this research will um, help to uncover some of the unknown connections that may give us insight into how uh, the uterus ovary brain connection can alter the trajectory of cognitive aging. What we want to know now is whether these effects are transient or long lasting. So the work that we're doing now is evaluating whether these effects are reversible with time. That is really where the true test of the importance of this work is going to 